Hi there, today we're unboxing a Samsung Galaxy Tab A. So this was purchased as part of a Black Friday deal and the price was £149. So it's a 10 inch screen, 16 gig storage on there. Let's have a quick look around the packaging. Okay, very plain. Serial numbers and stuff there. That's it, let's open it up. Price-wise, quite pleased how it's just suddenly dropped, hence why I thought we'd give it a go. Okay, let me carefully remove the screen initially. See the other items it comes with. Okay, first of all, quick start guide. Got a charging cable, standard one. It's mini USB. Charger, fast charge, so which is nice. The rest is just packaging, nothing more. Okay, let me put that to the side. Move these bits. Let's have a look at the screen. Okay, so let's take this out of packaging. Okay, first of all, on the back, a bit of a, a matte finish to that. You've got your camera, you've got your flash. Let's have a quick look around. Okay, looks like you've got two speakers on the bottom. You've got, um, oh, let me adjust the focus. Yeah, you've got a micro SD card slot just there. Looks like volume controls and power there. Okay, charging point there, headphone point there, and looks like a microphone point. And that's it. Okay, screen wise, nice glossy screen on there. Let's power it on first time. It's very good. Let's let it power up now. So this is the first time set up. Very nice feel to it. A little bit, just thinking, is it slippery now? Because it's nice and matte at the back. It's quite good. Let's hit start. Let's jump on to my test network. I'll just type in the password in the background. Okay, just to show now. So it's connected to the network. I'll click next. Agree to all. Next to that. Software update. Sign in, create a new account. Let's see if I can skip that for now. Hmm, okay. Let me add in, let me go back and just add in an account for now. It's probably better I do that straight off. Okay, so I've entered the account details, just going through the rest of it. It did ask if I wanted to set up my apps on there and just restore them back, but I don't wanna do that just now. I don't want a password at the moment. Okay, don't want a Samsung account either I'll skip that just want to show this up and running quite quickly and then hopefully we can do some sort of benchmark test on it just to test there you go okay later to that copy from older device but yeah there you go we're up and running already so first of all let's just briefly go onto the net and see what the performance is like on that. So skip to that. Uh, da, da, da. Cancel to that. It's all coming through now on there. So um, let's just type in test, first of all. Very fast appearing. So, seems good. First of all, let's try going to YouTube. That way we can test out 
the sound for instance and just see what that's like and what the picture quality is like when we're viewing something so let's go to Geek Street Geek Street on there first one there and let's just pick oh actually let me go back I can pick that channel sorry that video as it has some sort of um, royalty free music on there so I can prick that one no copyright issues not bad this is the max it goes at doesn't sound extremely loud I have to admit but fine for a tablet really nice and responsive let's pick another one yeah sounds good nice and clear quite a crisp sound to it good sound quality is good seems quite nice really a good feel to it let's um let's see what the pictures like this they're not spinning yeah it should be on auto let's have another go there we go let's pick another video something with a bit more colour in Seems good, video's flowing well. Picture quality is quite nice. Let's see if I can check the quality. So it is 1080p, so that's good. So yeah, pleased with it. Sound is, I have to admit, it doesn't sound extremely loud or anything like I've already said so nothing bad it is sufficient and usable you know in terms of that so okay so that's that that's a good test okay so the next thing we're going to try is a benchmark test so we've got this benchmark King software on there let me start it up give you a good indication of um, the power this thing has Okay, so the benchmark test has completed. That's the score we've been given. So if we now go back and we click here on ranking, you can actually see where it compares with other devices. You know, obviously the phones are going to be more powerful, but it's very interesting to see. Now scrolling down, there you go, it's right at the bottom. So you've got the iPhone. 8 plus and that's the score that was given and we'll just carry on down see what else there is quite a number of phones there S7 Moto Z HTC as well and right at the bottom and that's the value it's come back with so not a high performance tablet but this wasn't purchased for that particular reason it was just general web browsing and a bit of youtube so there you go it's a nice tablet price wise i think it was excellent you know for the 150 pound range um, it's got the mini sd card slot in there as well so excellent pleased with this um, for a budget tablet i think it's great thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe Okay, so we've done the unboxing, we've done the setup. Build quality is very nice, it's built very well. Picture quality on the screen and performance is excellent. We've seen a YouTube video being played.
that was really good as well. Sound wise, I was a little bit disappointed. I think it would have been nicer if it was a, a little bit louder than what, what you have. We've run the benchmark test as well. That's sort of shown it's, it's quite a, a, a low end tablet, you know, compared to some phones out there. Uh, performance wise, this is very low. But usability, it's great. We're just gonna use it for basic usage, which is uh, browsing the web and YouTube, and that's about it really. So for that purpose alone, I think it's, it's fine if you're looking for something like this. And there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing one of these. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like and subscribe.